Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Lancome, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. Yo. Yo. What's good? I am Lord Shoe X, and you are watching Lord of Perfected Work. Welcome back. I missed y'all, man. I know it's been like a day, but I ain't gonna lie, I missed y'all. I'm gonna just check these levels real quick, make sure everything gravy. Um, if you in this live and you can hear me, Please, please check out the slideshow next to my face. These are products I have on my website. If you see something that you're digging, please visit shoelovesrebels.com. My social media is on there, as well as my uh, music website and my two stores that I have with uh, Tefnit and Michelle. They are updated. And also, everything on tefnitarchive.com. Tefnitarchive.com is 50% off. So if you see something on the side that you're fucking with, it's 50% off for the jewelry. And the notebooks are full price, but they're not overly expensive. And they're good notebooks. So check them out. Now, if you can hear me, or I'm waving. If you can hear me, just put a number in the chat. Let me know that y'all rocking with your boy. And we gonna go from here. I'm gonna just do some little uh, little tests here. Make sure that I can hear. <laughs> yeah, man. My family is here. Like they've been here for days now. And I'm just wondering, like, will they ever leave? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the nitty gritty, y'all. For those who just now walking into the stream, I am Lord X, Lord Shoe X, and you're watching Lord Perfected Work. And this stream is about the whereabouts of Lord Shoe X, which is me. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. And I'm here to talk about some things today as well as my whereabouts. So let's get to it, man. All right. Now, last time I was on here, I was talking about some real shit, but I also had some people here with me. Today is just me. I'm going to keep it dolo today, unless somebody pop up on me in the middle of the stream. But for the most part, I'm keep it on some dolo shit today. Unless my energy just summons somebody into here, which shit like that tends to happen when I say stuff like this. So don't be surprised if somebody busts in during during uh, the stream today. So whereabouts of Lord Shoe X? I've been getting a lot of questions as of late about where I've been at and if where I'm at and my uh, home base and all of that good shit. And most people know that uh, that know me personally, like really know me personally know that uh, my home base is Georgia. That's normally where I am at. If I go to a different place, it's because of business. I don't typically move out of state 
for anything other than business because Georgia is my home. My other home is overseas. But for now, my main home is here. So if you're looking for me, I am in Georgia. Now I'm gonna I'm not gonna tell you where exactly in Georgia I'm at, but let's just put it this way. I'm a lot closer than you think. So people who are asking me, hey man, what you got going on this week? What's good? How you been? I'm doing great. I'm doing actually really, really well, y'all. Um, a lot of things that I've been planning on doing, I have completed these goals. Matter of fact, I've already exceeded most of them. So now I'm stepping into a new phase, which pretty much everything that anybody who used to know me as Havlis on X, which most of the people who used to know me as Havlis on X that I used to rock with, I don't rock with them people no more. So I'm kind of glad that I started over and I got a fresh new base of, you know, fresh faces to look at and talk to. Because all these new people I'm meeting, I really fuck with these people. They don't say much. They're just like me. Don't say much. The most shit that I say is on here. So there's only like one other person who hears me talk this much. And I can't really name nobody else. My family members might hear me talk a little bit, but for the most part, it's only a handful of people, man. I can think off the top of my head that really know me. So I want to get to know y'all a little bit more, which is why I'm letting y'all know the whereabouts of Lord Shoe X. So, hmm, how can I say this without revealing too much information? <laughs> Uh, I am currently in the middle of Georgia, but I will be in the northern part of Georgia pretty soon. Uh, every half of the week, I will be up in Atlanta, and every other half of the week, I'll be back in my headquarters. Uh, most of my streams will be taking place here at the headquarters, but my personal life is in Atlanta. So me being alone and you know eating dinner and shit like that you know the mundane shit that'll probably be taking place mostly in atlanta unless i just plan to uh come come down here to the headquarters which is basically home for uh a few days because i always have to check in and make sure that my family is good so always i always check on my family 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 is important first and foremost before anything you know what I'm saying? If y'all want me to be A1, I got to check on the fam. So, but yeah, um, as far as uh, the rest of this year, I'll probably be spending most of my time in Atlanta or my other home that's not in this country. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much how it's going to go down. Unless something changes, I'll try and tell y'all if I feel like it's important. But for right now, this is what it's going to have to be for a little bit because... Uh, I'm working with a group of individuals who are, if not more motivated than me, almost as motivated than me, as me. So, you know, just keeping my projects under wraps, keeping certain things private so that uh, they can be as great as they are to me, knowing them now. Because I've been working on a lot of shit for uh, the public. That's to benefit the public, though, not just... Um, mundane ass projects that people can just spend money on i don't i don't really like selling things that aren't useful and i don't like putting out things that are low quality so i've been really uh put my heel down into the earth really deeply and pushing forward into creating great projects not just uh what feels right for the moment because i have people who are well, they cool with me now, but I used to be close with them. But um, working on projects with these people is almost impossible. And I love everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't hold grudges. I don't have no hard feelings. You know what I'm saying? I don't have people really fuck me over, and I still be taking time out to check and make sure that they're fine. You know what I'm saying? And I mean really fuck me over. So if I can do that for somebody that I'm supposed to hate, which I don't hate anyone because that's stupid. You know, hate is a weak emotion. Jealousy is a dumbass emotion. So I try not to be in those type of emotions ever because if that's the case, that means I just need to hustle harder, right? You know what I'm saying? But I love my haters. <laughs> a 
which is why I don't really trip too much about the shit that's going on around me. Most of the time, if I ever do panic, it's because I feel like within myself, I don't, I can't do it, and I try not to even go down that road. So I'm making more time for everybody who makes time for me. You know, I ain't gonna be overexerting myself to try to do shit for people who don't give a fuck, especially people who are never around at that. And I'm trying to be around a lot more. Uh, I'm taking time out to show people how much I do care about them by making time for them. So if you in my personal group or you trying to become a part of this group, believe that I'll probably be sending niggas good morning text and what's good, even though I don't say good morning, but we'll just keep this, we'll keep this on the uh, skin level. We'll keep it on the palitos, the hair level. You know what I'm saying? The hair on the skin, on your arm, you know, the little shits that stick up. You know, we're going to keep it there. Because I'm not going to go too deep in these streams ever until, uh, matter of fact, I'll start going deep on these streams when I get 50, when I get 50 hardcore full-time followers that watch all these shits live. Then I'll start going deep on these streams and really talking the shit, talking that shit. But for right now, I'm going to skim the surface with y'all because I'm just, uh, getting to know people and i want people to get to know me through these streams because these are my genuine thoughts you know i really don't sit all day you know before i do these streams and be like man i wonder what i'm gonna talk about today you know like right before i do these streams i give myself about 15 minutes and i write the titles out and today right then and there i was like all right people been asking me where i've been at so i'm gonna talk about that now, uh, continuing back to that, last year, I wasn't in Georgia that much up until October. I moved to Florida on December of 2019. See how fast the years be going? So December of, two, well, all right, let's take it back to January of 2019. So I had got into this company and I was, I entered in this company at entry level. And the company was one of the fastest growing companies that had uh, moved into its industry in that year. And this this was kind of concerning to me. And man, I wish, I wish I had my book in front of me right now. But you know what, I'm gonna go off the dome. So uh, I wrote this in my book, Keys to the Island, which will be out soon. Honestly, it's pretty much done now. I'm just sitting on it for other reasons, but just gave y'all a little peek into that. Um, the, the people who know about Keys to the Island know I've been writing this book since 2015. So I put my heart and soul into this fucking book, but I think I might have it the way that I want. All that's left really is to uh, continue the photography and get my girl to edit it. And then that's it. <laughs> so in my book, I pretty much wrote about this experience, but basically I'm gonna give y'all a, a excerpt out of this book. It's not gonna be exactly how I wrote it, but we'll just go off of what I have in my head. So I joined this company and initially I became uh, the general manager of this particular location that's near me where I am now. And I still, uh, I still train the employees that are there to this very day. Um, it's going on three years now I've been with this company as well as two other companies that uh, I enter in and out of when I need supplemental income to fund shit like this fund these streams and buy equipment right now I have uh, pretty much like uh, setups that I need for everything to do shit like this whenever I whenever and wherever and also to do freelance shit like photography so I went out and bought cameras Hella microphones, uh, iPads, iPhones, Androids, out the ass, you know, networking shit. Even though I don't really network very much because most of the time I just walk around the shit and people see me. And they automatically want to know what I'm doing because they see me. And when y'all see me out, do y'all not see me cloaked out like this when I'm out in the streets? It don't matter if it's wintertime, summertime, springtime, fall time. Lord Shuet's cloaked out, baby. So I had um <laughs> I had infiltrated this company all the way up until I got into corporate. So I was talking to the CEOs and head chefs of this company and shit who created the menus and all that stuff because I am a cook. 
anybody who doesn't know, uh, I've been cooking since I was 16. I've been working for the food industry on and off since I was 16. And pretty much from casual to fine dining experience. So I'm pretty adept in food as well. Because I used to be a fat motherfucker. And nothing against fat people. If you're fat, you know, kudos to you. If you're comfortable with your body. And if you want to... Uh, if you need advice on diets or if you need advice on workouts, holla at your boy because I'm very adept in that as well. Um, Cause I mean, look at me now, fucking went from fat to skinny, man. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean I don't eat like a fat person though. <laughs> but yeah, so get in this company, move my way to the top, start telling motherfuckers what to do. I'm flying around the country, all over the country, uh, opening up stores left and right. And then uh, 2019, December, I moved to Florida. I was living in Fort Walton again. I used to live there in 2013 when I was, uh, I had moved down there with an old music partner that I had, um, when I used to live in Colorado, I moved out there to Florida with him. And uh, we started, we built like a studio and we had our label and all that shit and we was working on albums. Eventually to the point where I end up uh, Putting out a couple albums and then after that I moved to back to Georgia but Yeah, so I moved to Florida again, and I was living out there from January up until May and then after May I came back to the headquarters Got my equipment and shit and I moved to Texas and I was living in Austin, Texas for a while for about six months and basically just creating working on shit making great music i had uh damn my bad y'all i had put out a new tape called volume three which uh if y'all on my instagram y'all heard about volume four well this is the project before that obviously but this was what i was working on during that time period because i was just inspired and I went on this tour that I started called the Lilith Tour, which I was basically just doing tours of like um, desert sites and shit like that by myself. Never had done this shit before, but an experience I wanted to do because I plan on doing this elsewhere in my old home, which um, I'm not gonna talk about that right now because like I said, when I get 50 followers, I'll tell y'all who I really am. In the meantime, I'm Lord Shoe X and you're watching Lord of Perfected Work. I'm a polymath based in Georgia. And if you haven't, checked out my website, shoelovesrebels.com. It's right under my beautiful cartoon face and my actual beautiful face. Right next to my other side, right, like literally next to me, there's a slideshow of products I have. Um, these are all products on both of the websites that I have on my website. So check it out. Everything that's jewelry on here is 50% off. And the notebooks are great. I don't even think they have page numbers, the new ones. I haven't seen the new ones yet. I've got two of the previous set before these new ones came out. So, but I'm gonna tell you this, they fucking great. Beautiful notebooks. I would show you one, but I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving y'all side right now because I, I just had to do my shameless plug, but now we getting back to the story. So I was living in Austin, Texas. I dropped volume three instrumentals, which all the instrumentals and the volume sets that I have on every streaming platform, all them beats are for sale. So if you want to buy one, holla at me. You can hit me up on Instagram. If you got my number, I can give you my number if you hit me up on IG. Matter of fact, my phone number is connected to my Instagram. So just, you can look for it on there. Now, living there, I um, created some projects. I created some resin molds of the stuff that I had found out in the desert and was selling those. And then I came back here in September because a family member that's really, really close to me was having health issues. So, you know, me being a healer, I had to heal. Everything good now. So now I can make my way back to the business at hand, full time. That's the only reason I'm even back at the headquarters, to be honest with you, full time like this, because I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, the end of last year up until probably about the beginning of this year, I ain't gonna lie, I've been going through it a little bit, man. Just trying to keep my shit together. Cause it's the first time this shit affected somebody this close to me. Like health issues. 
Luckily, it wasn't no corona bullshit. Cause, but, you know, anything that's, you know, fucking with fam is that I just ain't fucking with it. So I had to stay here. I put that shit as priority over everything else. And I was like getting projects. I had got offered a job in a logistics position and shit like that. And normally I don't even be fucking with jobs like super hardcore like that because they take away the freedom of me doing the shit that I need to do instead of the shit that I want to do, <laughs> which is why I end up working most of the time because of shit I want to do. Like, it sucks, man. But that's just this reality that I'm a part of right now. So now that I am back here at the headquarters in Georgia, pretty much going to be leaving out here to be full time doing my thing working uh working on my projects like full time last year i had worked on a demo put the demo together and now i'm getting ready to finish this demo this year not even a demo it's uh gonna be my full album it's my last album is have Bliss on x so i've been traveling the country actually trying to get good ideas for that project as well which worked out I ended up recording the whole demo in one day. And these ideas, I'm stemming off of them now, but as I dive deeper into the ideas and the concepts of these songs, shit got me like, wow, I'm a great, I'm a great artist to myself. You know what I'm saying? I gave myself enough time to really absorb the information. Cause you know how people just constantly putting out records about the same exact fucking shit. We know you fucked all these niggas bitches. We know you got a hundred racks, hundred K, whatever. We know you got all the newest cars. You got the biggest rim. You know what I'm saying? I already know what this nigga's gonna say next. So I try to give y'all content that ain't nobody even talking about because ain't nobody living this type of life. Cause most niggas, they either trapping, which I trap too, but I trap different. I don't trap niggas. I'm just getting to the bag. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna trap nobody. So I tend to not like using that word anyways, but we'll just say in this context, that trapping is working. So I be trapping, trap harder than most of these niggas. I don't really be sleeping at this point. I ain't really been sleeping the last few fucking weeks, honestly, man. Again, like, I think last week I might have got eight hours of sleep, and then the week before that I might have got the same amount. So, you know, I'm going on like days, but I really just been getting sleep as of late. Really, really, like, getting sleep. <laughs> so pretty much trying to prepare my mind i started back lifting weights and shit today to uh get my body and shit right for when i go back to atlanta and be up there all the time just being in the mix of shit but y'all know how it is man you you uh you got plans you want to prepare for them i ain't even make no plans of what i'm gonna do as i'm there i'm going with the flow completely but as long as i keep my mind strong my body strong and i'm eating good and i'm making sure that i keep my bag straight you know how you get up there you want to floss and shit like i'm staying out of the way man if i don't gotta be up there i'm probably gonna be here working on the album finishing up everything so when i do go back to my partner who's uh gonna be engineering my album i want to make sure that bitch is perfecto so i won't be doing too much traveling this summer i want to spend all of my summer in atlanta up until i get the fuck out of here when i can't get the fuck out of here Cause I don't know how the fuck shit going on at the borders and shit. And if I do leave, I might end up not coming back on, on some real shit. Just simply because I have so much other shit set up in my other home that I really can just thrive out there and really be doing tours musically and shit. Same as here though. So I'm just trying to find the right balance. You know what I'm saying? If I can do a worldwide tour this year in the fall, man. Or at least do the worldwide tour the beginning of next year from January or from springtime to the summertime of next year. That's that's would be initially how I'm gonna go about this shit. But these are my plans and goals. You know what I'm saying? Sort of. <laughs> For the most part, sort of. We'll just say that. Because I ain't really trying to be no artist rapper. I'm I already completed that mission. I'm already solidified by the legends, so I don't have to go out of my way to really be like, oh, I want to have a huge fan base. The legends are my fan. I'm your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. That's that's where I want to be, because I'm Lord Shoot X. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the nigga who's finna go 
and do shows and grind it out. Like, fuck that. As long as them niggas know who I am, that's all that matters. And I respect them, you know? It's not it's it's not every day that you have the gall to go and be an artist independently on your own. You know what I'm saying? And continuously go out here and perform in front of people. That takes heart. So I applaud the artists who go get up and make that shit their job. They up at 5 a.m. thugging, making sure that shit's their job. So I salute y'all. I salute independent artists who get up and make that shit a daily task. Because me, I'm not doing that. I'm pulling up to where the niggas at who run the fucking radio station. And I'm like, hey, man, I'm going to just drop this off. You ain't got to play this on radio. Just know I'm Lord Shuek. And you're watching Lord of Effective Work. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you ain't visited my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should. And I hit him with that, and I fucking bounce, man. And before I know it, I'm getting calls. Hey, man, uh, uh, you trying to kick it? You what, what's, what's good, bro? That's cool, man. I'm always down to kick it with niggas who's supposed to be famous. But if y'all trying to kick shit, that's cool, too. But, you know, I know enough people in the industry that I don't want to be in the industry. And like I said yesterday, these gatekeeper niggas always show up right when you about to hit that threshold. And honestly, I don't have the energy and the patience to be trying to blast motherfuckers. Oh, you in this bitch? Listen, I know it's safe for me not to disturb, but uh... Yeah, I know you I like to disturb, nigga. I know. Listen, 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 listen. Let me explain this. I don't be disturbing like that. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to fuck with you. I just be chill. Listen to you talk about real shit. I mean, I know. That's why I don't give a fuck. I know that's why you come in here. And you be knowing when I be streaming, too. And right now, I'm going to talk to y'all just about what I've been talking to y'all about. But later on, I'm going to uh, get on like my schedule and shit like that. Because it's uh, it's probably finna change. And so I'm going back to the A. And being up there full time, for the most part, is going to be like... That's going to be tough, man. I got a lot of like responsibilities and shit I got to take care of for my family right now. So, you know, I got to be on my shit. Got to be getting this bag. You know what I'm saying? I got to keep my shit right. Got to make sure my little cousin is on point. Because I don't want them getting out there and fucking off like I had to the first time I moved up there. I just fucked the whole shit off because just wanted, I wasn't in myself. And I, was, and, and I could say this to y'all because people make mistakes and they grow. So, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas fuck up. I fucked up. I done fucked up a hundred million times, man. But that, that's why I'm here where I am today. If it wasn't for fucking up, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So know that. Now, I just, I just want to uh, stay out of the, like the eyes of these niggas who run all of that industry shit. I'm not really fucking with the industry too much because I know how fucked up it is because I done been in the fucked up ass industry for, before I got out of high school, I had got my first um real, uh, my first industry gig when I was 17, 16 or 17. And it was with this guy who used to rap and he had a really big song that got him really noticed in Georgia. Actually, the United States, because the shit was on BET. But this nigga ended up killing somebody, I guess. And he ended up going to jail. And I don't think he ever getting out. So I ended up working, the next industry gig I ended up getting was working with uh, Convict Records, uh, Akon's label. Which, uh, that was cool. But then after that, I just it turned me off to the whole shit. Because the money, then if you're young, lawyers and contracts and shit like that. And before I actually studied the shit on my own and just ended up starting my own company, I pretty much didn't know shit. So I got money, but it wasn't as much money as I could have. You know what I'm saying? And getting placements is easy. But getting placements with honest people is probably the hardest shit ever, man. So that's why I just... I just get to the point where I'm like, damn, I don't really want to be in this shit. So I'm just going to leave that shit alone. I'm going to leave it to the people who want to be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? I can get a loan through the bank and just and do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? If if I really wanted to go do that.
but in the meantime, I just keep creating music for people who really give a fuck about the good shit. And best believe I'm gonna be charging, but this shit is not gonna be your average music. And it's not gonna be just some shit that just got thrown together either. So that's why I'm excited to tell y'all about these things. And talking about these new projects that I'm putting out, like the book and this and this album. But this is just, a, these are just pieces in the whole shit. Cause it's an entire artistic, visual, audio project that you can enjoy that will last more than just three months because, oh, it's all singles. Like, I don't see how people listen to the baby and be like consistently just listening for like, bro, how? Like them songs was cool at that moment. And then after that, like, it's just over. And he don't change his flow, so it's just in. Like, not hating on the baby or nothing because he's a good artist. I mean, the dude came out of nowhere and instantly blew up. Um, he always had his gimmick and his original name was Big Baby Jesus, which is awesome. I like that name. <laughs> Makes me want to make that my artist name, but obviously he changed it to the baby for a reason because you know how people are these days, man. They're not fucking with religion no more. Shit is washed up. So he had to look at it from a universal level anyways. And that's cool. I know people probably be thinking I'll be trying to hate on niggas in these uh these lives, but I could never do that. I just like to voice my opinion, just like anybody else does, you know. I've been making music since I was fucking five years old. <laughs> like I had a singing group when I was in like first first or second grade. And we was on the block, like the motherfucking temptations. Okay. <laughs> so this shit ain't nothing new to me, man. I just, those experiences, I'm kind of over them. Like, going to the studio and, like, chilling with a bunch of random-ass people and shit like that, I'm good. I'd rather invite you to my shit and keep it real private. Only person studio I ever went to that was straight was either my boy JP8, which he is, if, if Kanye West had no ID, I'm Kanye West, and JP8 is my no ID. So he made me a better producer. But... This nigga studio or my boy HD, which the the uh, guy I took pictures show for. He's the these are the only people I pulled up on that studio sessions was a one that I was fucking with. That didn't get on my fucking nerves and bother the shit out of me. So that's why I'm just like, damn. I'm glad that fucking I can pull up on these people and they be professional as fuck. So that's always good, man. Having people that be about their shit, bro. I done pulled up to some niggas' studios. I ended up staying there for like a year, bro. And these niggas end up trying to kill my ass. <laughs> but they was some haters, though. They some haters that love me. I'll I put it at that. They was some haters that love me. Like, it's niggas right now who using my software, got my name on, on, on their software. That whenever they make music, they got to see my name. And they have to remember me. And my name is on the walls in their studios. And they have to remember me. So no matter what. Even if I'm not making music. All my children are making music. All of them. All the time. My ch I make music every day just by sitting here. And showing people the way. Because I'm a teacher. I'm a leader. My body. I expand through others. I expand all my gifts through others. Every single gift. Now, why am I the only person that I know who does this? I know too many people who have great skills that should be expanding these skills into other people so that other people can make their way of life without having to listen to some random guy tell me what to do when you first wake up at seven, five, between five and seven in the morning. Like, oh, um, I'm gonna need you to uh, clean out this toilet or whatever the fuck. Like, trust me, I done been there, bro. I done been there to the point where I be ready to fucking off these niggas my damn self. But that's why I try to always be in a peaceful state of mind. And if I feel my peace is going away, I cut that shit off, man. But that's why I named this shit Just Another Manic Monday. 
because I felt my peace drifting away into the distance like a fucking pirate ship with all the treasure, but nobody on it. We on the land and the pirate ship just drifting away. And we like, fuck, <laughs> my pirate ship. But nah, I want that pirate ship to go away. They can keep that treasure because I got treasure in here. The real treasure. I can turn anything in here into tangible, tangible assets. So that's why I'm so fucking excited to work with these people that's in Atlanta that I don't know and working with these people in Atlanta that I do know or uh, just recently met because this shit is going to put me in a different zone, different types of beauty, different types of food, different types of experiences, man. And that's what the fuck I need right now. Some new experiences that's going to elevate my mental and emotional state so that when I bust moves, they coming from the heart and not just me on some survival shit, bro. Like, fuck, bro. I hate being on survival shit. Like, when shit was fucked up, the first time I lived in Atlanta, I was on some survival shit. And I was working on two albums at the same time. Like some of the songs I had from volume or from this new project that I'm working on now, there I recorded some of these songs the first time just to have these ideas. So when I worked on this project, I had these ideas already. So I'm just like, fuck yeah. I'm about to wrap up this next project and I'm already in the, I'm already working. Like y'all seeing the next project. Y'all just don't know it yet, but y'all literally seeing the next project as I'm doing it. So, it just got me lit, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm lit as fuck right now. Like, I don't know. I'm wasted or I'm high or nothing like that, but I'm just lit off of the feeling, like off of the mold and the, um, the vibes that I'm getting from people that working on their purpose and getting their shit together too. Like, bro, I love that type of shit, man. Seeing people really on their shit. But yeah, probably be up there. The mo the furthest I'll probably go is uh, Louisiana this year. So if niggas want to go to uh, Louisiana with your boy, let me know. I need 15 to 20 people who can consistently go with me to New Orleans every single month. And I promise you, it's going to be lit. I'm going to hold it down, bro. All I need is 15 to 20 people. To come with me to New Orleans. And I'm talking about Louisiana, New Orleans. Bourbon Street, shit like that. Like, we in the city. But also, to event spaces. Because I have three event spaces out there that I can use consistently whenever I want. And I just need 15 people there. As well as... If you want, man, it can be 30. I would rather have 100 people there every time that we go to Louisiana. And people who perform and shit, y'all should come with me. Because I got a DJ, I got sets, all that shit. All y'all gotta do is just pull up, pay for your room, your hotel room. It's only for a day. And honestly, we can make this shit an event every month to go to New Orleans. And just run it up, turn up, perform, make, you know, do art, sell shit. I need vendors to come with me. Like, all that shit. Any, like, bro, and we can do this shit several times a month, man. I would prefer to do that. You know what I'm saying? But if I got to go do this shit alone, that's probably what I'm going to end up start doing is doing these shits alone. And just the summertime, I'll be in New Orleans performing. So y'all, come on, man. I'm going to be in the A performing as well, too. Just for, bro, you got to really be in. If you're not in this, if you're not watching these streams and you're not in my, you don't follow me on Instagram, I really don't want you there. And I'm not hating or nothing for people who on Twitch just finding my stream and watching this shit. But I really don't fucking want you there unless you really bout this shit, bro. You know my music. You fucking with my music. You fucking with my artistry. All my artistry, man. Because I be flowing through people, too. So I got so much fucking music, bro. Like, I can have my own library right now of music. I do. Just by myself. So imagine if I added everything else I did with other people. I'm trying to work. Right now, I'm trying to work, work. I was already working. I was in the desert collecting 
fucking petrified wood to put in resin and to sell them, bro. I be working. That's where the fuck I be at, y'all. Y'all want to know the whereabouts of Lord Shoe X? I be fucking working. Getting to this fucking bag. Creating everything that's in my fucking mind, bro. Because before you know it, y'all going to be in Egypt with me. And we going to be fucking touring Egypt together, too. But it's a game, man. I want that motherfucking set. We going to have the L SLR set in this bitch, man. Eventually. I had this shit before. But these niggas wasn't loyal to the set, man. The other people I had way more loyal to the set than these niggas was. Like, bro. The only people I know for sure that I know stay down with the fam is my nigga Uncle Herm, bro. And I'm sure people know who Herm is if they really, if they real artists and they real hip hop legends like yourself, like me. Cause I say yourself because I know people who watching the stream that make music, y'all legends already. Cause you know me. I put y'all niggas in the game, man. I can pretty much say anybody else to do consistent shows at big ass festivals if y'all wanted to. But that's the thing, bro. You know how niggas' uh, egos be playing? They don't want to take help because they feel like they can do it on their own, even though they see you doing the shit that they want to do. So they don't come to you. Now, when I first started in the game, dog, the best advice I ever got was roll with niggas who are better than you. If you can't find people who better than you, at least find niggas who as motivated, if not more motivated than you. So if you seeing me constantly gone, bro, constantly doing me, and I'm an artist, so if I'm out here doing me, creating at all times, doing my thing, bro, and I'm in the cities where you need to be, I'm in California, I'm in in uh, Georgia, I'm in New York, I'm in cities where you supposed to be to do this type of shit, wouldn't you want to take my advice, right? Or is your ego that big that you don't fuck with me because you don't want to see me win and you also don't want to see your self win through my advice when I genuinely have love for you and can show you some shit. So that's just where it where it be fucking with me sometimes because I be like, damn, I be working hard as fuck, man. You would think niggas would just be on the team, you know what I'm saying? But nah, bro, niggas' egos be playing. They would rather let their ego step in instead of trying to really bust a move and make a team. That's why I be by myself doing all this shit. That's why y'all niggas don't never see me like that. Because I be having to do this shit alone. This is a lot of work to take on, man. My first company did sit almost, well, almost six figures. I ain't going to say six figures. Because it didn't do six figures. Uh, let's just say the estimate was under a little under six figures. This was my first company. And I'm doing this shit alone. But remember, I'm doing it alone. That means I got to pay other niggas to do shit. When I could have a team that I could consistently pay them. For work, but I'm having to pay mercenaries hella money to do shit that I can have an actual team consistently getting paid for. When you paying mercenaries, they want more money. When you got people on your team, you can pay them every week. Same set thing. Mercenaries, they only do one time payments, so they shit be outrageous, bro. Every time. That's why I don't like fucking with mercenaries. You can't you can't run a kingdom with mercenaries, bro, because they're gonna turn on you eventually. And guess what ended up happening? The fucking mercenaries turned on me. But I knew this from the jump, so I took my chances. And I want to recommend a book today that anybody who has um, a business and they have a team, everybody should read this book. Especially if you know, if you're a Tupac fan, then y'all know who Machiavelli is. Or Machiavelli is what he calls himself, but the real Machiavelli. Y'all should read this book, The Prince by Machiavelli, the actual Machiavelli. Now, this book will tell you how to start a kingdom and also how to take kingdoms, how to maintain kingdoms, how to use anarchy to get kingdoms. But this is just on that scale because this book was written during the times of uh, where there was a lot of kings and queens and democracy was next to invisible. <laughs> so, but I apply this knowledge to current situations, which it's not that hard to do. You just change some words around. Like king, you can change that word to producer. Kingdom, you can change that to the studio. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's just how I did it. But this book has helped me combat so many things on a business entrepreneurship level.
that I recommend this book to anybody who's trying to be a fucking lord of perfected work or who's trying to be an emperor or who's trying to be the master of their own fate or the captain of their own soul guiding themselves to their divine right which I believe everyone should be on that mission but like I always say I can't tell you what to do I can only show you through my actions <laughs> I can only show you so yeah that's just why it's so hard to find out where I am but y'all I got Instagram I have a phone I have three phones literally have three cell phones like y'all if you can't get in touch with me it's because you don't fucking want to so I'm gonna just leave it at that. I'm not gonna sit here and you know go too hard on motherfuckers, but if you can't get in touch with me, it's because you don't want to. So, and my fucking phone number is literally on my Instagram. You can literally go on IG and click on the little contact shit, and you can literally call or text me or email me. Like all my shit is on there. So it's not like I'm just trying to dodge you, motherfuckers. But it is what it is, man. <laughs> Just another Manic Monday. I wish it was Sunday. Yesterday was so fucking relaxing. Like, I didn't have a headache yesterday. Now, today, I got the fucking worst headache, bro. This is just how I be, man. These these astral energies, these, these energies in the sky got me fucking lit the fuck up to the point where I ain't been able to sleep. And all I've been doing is, like, just laying there. Just letting... The energy passed through and the light codes passed through and the dreams passed through. This is strong energy sometimes, man. That shit can be overwhelming. And fucked around, I had bought some melatonin knowing that your body naturally produces this shit. It's just about, it's like turning the switch on and off, man. And that's what I've been practicing doing is turning that switch on and off instead of using pills, instead of using outside influences but raising my vibration by simply changing the way I think. See, this world is made to distract you so that your mind does that shit. Stay focused, my people. When you stay focused, my people, it's not gonna be that hard, I promise you. It's not gonna be hard not hard at all this world isn't hard at all anything can be achieved many things can be achieved i didn't think a lot of the shit that i achieved that i would be able to achieve so don't get it twisted this shit is for the birds for sure but i always say this we chose to be here so let's be close to each other let's love each other for sure because we chose to be here and we're all key players in this game so i need my teammates to uh holler at your boy you know what i'm saying let's get closer <laughs> holler at your boy teammates you know we was up there planning this shit together we can plan this shit together down here and really create some shit that niggas never seen before but you know i'm on my mission regardless you know what i'm saying he ain't shit to a g like me man we just gonna keep it on that. We gonna keep it on the high note and leave it there like that. But yeah, I think that's pretty much the whereabouts of where I'm at. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't plan on changing too much of how I'm moving right now because I'm just going with the flow. But the flow might take me somewhere else, y'all. So if I end up getting on this stream again and saying hey guys so i'm in africa right now like i said the other day don't be surprised y'all don't know where i'm gonna be at tomorrow shit be happening to me so crazy sometimes miracles happen to me all the fucking time like i'm just in an open energy and i'm even more open right now because i don't have a particular goal in life that i want to complete because i've already completed the goals in my life that i had set for myself and i had set some pretty high goals shit that i would consider so like fears like i'm facing fears in front of 
a live studio audience like type shit facing fears and not giving up and pushing myself when i know i want to like break but i'll never i have to i, would, I choose death nigga I'll never, i choose death before I let some shit break me the fuck down all the way to where I'm just like, man, I give up on life because, nigga, there's nothing to give up in life. This shit is what it is, bro. If you want to, if you want to not do some shit, then don't do it. You know, it's really that simple. If you want to do something, do it. Go all the way. If it changes, that's why you got to go with the flow. That's why they always say the journey's the fucking destination, man. You know what I'm saying? That shit been popping up a lot. Because you know how you get so frustrated because you're like, damn it, I'm not completing my goal. It's the journey. You know how many fucking places I've gone and been inside of because of this journey I chose to be on. And I'm on a completely new journey now. Like, I'm walking through this portal and leaving this old shit behind. That's why I'm doing these streams. I wasn't doing these before. I just started doing these. This is my seventh consecutive day of streaming. You know what I'm saying? I haven't been doing this long. I would have my vlog keys to the island, which is will be on here as well. But I don't I like I said, I don't really be I don't really be fucking I don't be on that shit, man. I'm not here to I'm not here to play these games. I'm here to heal myself, my family, so that people see me healing myself and my family. They're gonna wanna do the same for themselves and their family. That's the, that's the chain reaction I want to send off. Not this kind of chain reaction that these niggas be rapping about. Fuck that. If these chains fell off my neck tomorrow and broke into pieces, you think I would give a fuck? If anybody who know Lord Shoe X know I don't give a fuck about no fucking material shit that ain't got love put into it. Now, these had love put into them. I'm not going to lie. And I feel that love. But you think I'm going to go crazy about trying to keep some shit around me that is broken, is gone. Things eliminate themselves for a reason. Everything is alive. Even the shit that people think isn't alive is alive. Everything vibrates. If it's in a low vibration, that's because it's supposed to be. That don't mean you can't raise the vibration of it by speaking to it. That's why people speak to their water. That's why people pray over their food. Because they change in the structure of that shit by simply speaking sweet, sweet things to it. But when you, when you pray to other things over your food, you're literally creating a sacrifice and then it becomes a ritual. So, you gotta be careful with that type of shit. That's why most of the time if I do pray over my food, this is how, this is how my prayers go. Lord Shuex, I wanna thank you for this meal I'm about to eat. Thank you for being so smart that you picked all the highly dense foods. I'm humble. I'm humbled by myself because I'm so fired at creating highly dense meals that don't require me to pig the fuck out and overeat. Thank you for making this food even more high vibrational simply by speaking these great things over it. This delicious, hot, beautiful food. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> come on, man. Like, I'm not. I'm not doing that. That shit where I'm giving away. The nourishment because then you look at these people who do that and most of these people are overweight as fuck complain have problems in life are dying diabetics high blood pressure yada 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 should have made better food choices not judging you but when I give you advice you should have took it now you gotta get your arm amputated damn <laughs> That fucking sucks, man. But I did warn you. <laughs> and I ain't the type to be rude about shit no more when it comes to stuff like that. But we're all here to emulate higher vibration actions. We're here to do those type of things. And the more that we do that, the more people will want to do that. I'm glad that I spoke on NPCs yesterday because if you ain't watch yesterday's stream or the watch God, matter of fact, watch all the streams, but God Dick was a good stream, yo. The NPCs, like, talking about non-playable characters, watch that shit. Because on the real, 
that's when shit got like exactly where it is now where i started having those realizations and i started applying them to life and then i started realizing that i control the playable character and the npcs by my vibration so just want y'all to be weary of these things like hey you can do the same thing too and it's not no mumbo jumbo you know i know how people think when they hear about spirituality they just think oh niggas get on here and just be yapping about shit but like these are these are things that you can apply to re actual reality the the 3d realm you can apply these actions to the 3d realm and they will work in your favor so don't be so quick to knock the magic because the magic does work y'all even though people call have a name for everything under the sun for people like me but the magic works it definitely works and been using it long enough to figure out that some magic you do and if you if you ain't good enough at the magic that you know how to do don't fuck with magic that you shouldn't do because all magic should be done <laughs> but you got to be fire at the at the beginner shit man that's why I'm like, bro, how do people not have apprentice no more for real? Like, I didn't share my skills with mad people, bro. And because of that, the versions of me that live through these people through the music has expanded so much that I'm making music that I, my personal self, would not even make. But because I created those new versions of me, I have so much fucking music, bro, that you could literally listen to a radio station of my shit. And it would be different, like. <laughs> but I did say I was gonna sit here and fucking y'all, y'all watching my latest project, so <laughs> y'all just don't know it yet. But hey, man, I just want to thank everybody, all the women and the children and the men who watch these vlogs and who watch these streams and who watch anything that i do and who listen to all the music that i create and my the music that my company creates we've been in this game since 2006 consistently making music since 2006 it is 2021 this music shit is in me and i don't need nobody to co-sign it because the right people already co-sign my shit i don't need that i make music for people who feel and want to feel it and want to understand where I'm coming from and the stories that I'm telling through the music. So I, I appreciate everybody who watched these streams and any and fuck with any projects that I do. Y'all, I wouldn't even be on here if it wasn't for people who express how much they care about what I do and what I say. I wouldn't even be doing these streams. The only reason I started doing this shit is because of that. So shout out to y'all. Shout out to you for making this shit even possible because I honestly wouldn't even be on here. I would be, you know, doing villain shit. <laughs> doing Grey Lord shit. My next cloak gonna be Grey. I can't wait to show y'all that one. But for right now, we gonna rock with the black one because I'm on my Sith shit right now. I'm on my Dark Lord shit. But I follow the Grey path. I use both sides of the spectrum to create my fucking shit. And that is why I created this fucking shit that y'all watching right now so we can have a great path game <laughs> I gotta think of a slogan for us man cause pretty soon I'm gonna be doing this shit how I wanna be doing it but I gotta get done with these previous projects first but we up right now alright we up right now y'all we gang gang still it don't matter we in this bitch Lord Shoe X, y'all watching Lord Perfected Work. If you ain't went to my website, please do. ShoeLovesRebels.com. It's in this little purple box underneath me. And um, the pictures that's in the slideshow are actual products. These are notebooks and jewelry that we have. And the jewelry is 50% off on our website, TestNetArchive.com. So if you haven't gone to the website, ShoeLovesRebels.com, please do. Y'all can add my social media. All that should be on the, on the website. You should be able to see all my social, everything on the website. So, y'all peep that. Um, yeah. Again, thank you. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. 
the music on this channel is created by me all the music that you hear and the intro created by me everything and i'm also uh taking projects to do photography because i want to be a better photographer so hit your boy up man i'm out here in these streets getting it done but in the meantime it's lord shoe x thank you for watching and lord perfected word today i'm out this bitch i am out this bitch